<laughs> Bye, everybody. Hi. Everybody in their jammies. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me. <sighs> Hi, Tabitha. How are you? I'm having one of those moments. I can't decide if I'm cold or hot. Good grief. Good. <laughs> Robin, what's up? Yeah, I got a t-shirt. I got my check decks on. Hi, CC. How's it going? I wanted to start an hour earlier, but I've had a heck of a day. I'm only getting one and a half days off. So everything that was purchased in the last sale is going out in the morning, along with anything that you guys are interested in tonight will go out tomorrow. Because that's all the time off I have. <laughs> oh, yeah. I attempted to brush the hair, but I started my day with the mail running early, and I got my electric bill, and it was $330. Oh, my God. So I had to call the company and tell them to come check the meter or fix whatever it is I need to fix, because that's ridiculous, because I work. 14 hours a day. I'm never here. So I couldn't use that much. And then I had HVAC people here and it was a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I was like, there's something wrong. You guys need to fix this. And they're like, well, you know, they've been reading the meter. I said, it's a little funny. I said, there is a seven-foot-tall fence around that meter. He can't get to it. So, try again. Yeah. Last month, it was like 267. And we went in and unclogged. Um, like, I got a whole garbage bag full of just crap out of the um, air returns and the vents when we took this place over. <sighs> um, yeah. Wow, my God, no. So, we got all the vents in that cleaned out. Um, so, we've been replacing the pipes because we were busting through some of them. And just the stuff coming out of it. I pulled a half a curtain. I found some little cards, I think, from the 70s. So, it's, it's been clogged a long time. And still not a whole lot. So, now the next... next Thing they're gonna do is take the coil out and all that stuff because it's a fairly new unit yeah I'm like, Ooh, crazy I'm like well yep you know, I will put this place on the market so fast <laughs> I'm not kidding $450 that is a re donk Ulysses. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Hi, Dawn. How are you? Ridiculous. <coughs> so, there's a couple of you in here. So, if you're new here, my name is Lady Badger. Welcome. Hi, Liz. <sighs> it's ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Um, I do things a little bit differently. I don't charge for shipping. The shipping's already included in the prices of the bag. So if I tell you something's 400 bucks or 4,000 bucks, that's what it's going to cost to come to your door. <laughs> wow. Hi, Tara. How are you doing? Yeah. Sorry about the late hour. Well, it's late for me. It's 10 o'clock. 
Hi, Cindy. How are you? <laughs> I wanted to go earlier, Cindy. But I was actually arm deep into just scrubbing pipes and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this got a lot of interest in the last sale because they seen it in a tote. A little something about this bag. It looks really nice. It says Louis Vuitton all over it. But I can't authenticate it. So, yeah. I mean, it feels substantial and what have you, but there's some really good fakes out there. I mean... Ooh. You gotta love liquid diets. Gotta love it. So... I can't find a serial number on this bad boy. It still has a tape on it. I, I'll i have to have Vicky look at it. There's just some things that I'm not too sure about. Like the stitching here is crooked. And what else did I notice? Oh. See the stitching? So I'm thinking it's a doopy doop doop. Very nice, but I'm not 100% sure. It looks very sloppy to me. Oh. I don't like to go under the knife. I won't do it. I don't want to go under the knife. And this right here. So that's... But this is one of the reasons why I didn't show you guys. Because... I, I mean, it's leather. It's just... Uh, it's going to have Vicky look at it. I don't... Hmm. I'm not sure. So. It's very nice. It's a pretty bag. But. Mm. <laughs> not sure. Hi. How are you? What's going on, Liz? How are you? What are you having surgery for? I feel like I should already know that. Is the chat working? I would not be pressing buttons. I would be pressing buttons. I would be doing things wrong. So once again, I am. Yeah, I can't see anybody's comments either. That's why I said that. It, there you are. I see Robin. Hi, Finding Solace. How are you? Hey, Pixie. So I'm surrounded 
<coughs> you guys are going to see this on on Hadrian's live, but I wanted to show you guys real quick the bag from our gift exchange what that lovely Hana sent me. Look at this. Beautiful. Isn't that nice? Wow. It's big, substantial. Shut it up. <laughs> This has got to be, and then it's it's just big, thick, heavy leather. So I'm thinking she might have went over budget a little bit, and if she did, boy, she got a deal. Isn't this nice? So this is my gift from Hana. You guys will see it on Hadrian's live. I recorded it. Some I wasn't feeling really good. So, I was in my jammies at my worst. My nose was running, and I was just having things going on. Um, still a little, it's in this area. Still a little, eh. but I was in, in rare form the other night. Besides, I only popped on because of the Mark Jacobs bag. <laughs> so, I set an alarm for that, and then I think I passed back out. <laughs> Yeah, this is really nice. I'm going to treasure this. This is very nice. So, I opened, I was just, wow, no way. She went way over budget, I think. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I'm not sure. <coughs> so, Dawn, you guys, I was telling everybody, I know every, I got a lot of emails on this bag because it was sitting on top of the tote. I, it, I don't, think it's a it's beautiful leather it's heavy and substantial all the markings are there but I don't think it is authentic I I'm fairly certain that it's not I don't know anything about this I'm learning because I have jumped on the Louis Vuitton bandwagon oh you got your dreamer yeah. So, I had HVAC issues and that. So, you know, they give you this time window of, say, 10 to 2, 9 to 4. So, I was stuck at home all day. So, cleaning out ducts, cleaning out air returns, and just, ugh, absolute mess. So everybody's bags from the last sale is going to go out tomorrow morning. And anything that you like tonight is going to go out tomorrow. It has to because I'm back on shift. But I do have this weekend off coming up. So I'm prepping and I'm going to get the house ready for Vicky's arrival. That was such a cute little bag. wouldn't fit my wallet. <laughs> it's a cute little bag. So, I'm not... This would be a fun running around bag, you guys. But, I don't know. I don't want to sell a dupey on the internet. So, I mean, if you're interested in the dupey, um, you can email me. Um... I mean, like, look at that. I, I, the leather is thick and beautiful and scrumptious. It's a, yeah. I could be wrong. I just, I don't think so, though. Yeah, it's. Well, I was showing them, Robin. It has, like, it has all the markings. Even the straps got Louis Vuitton all over it and. I love the zipper pull, and and it's and it's heavy, gorgeous hardware, and it it's a heavy little thing. Uh, leather is real. 
but I just, I, I keep reading mixed messages. Some people are getting bags. Sometimes the, um, the stitching is uniform and, and beautiful, but it, I, there's just some spots like, like if you look, do you guys see what I'm talking about there? Um, I don't know, maybe not. It's probably hard on camera. But I'm not finding a serial number anywhere. Um, and the stitching is uneven. So, but, it smells luscious. It is big, thick leather. It's very substantial. I just, and this pattern, I mean, I'm learning as we go you know, on what to look for and what have you, um, but I just, I don't know. It, the stitching in that is, is consistent in that. It's just in the inside is, is beautiful. It's just I don't I can't even find a, a serial number for it or anything. I don't I don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I haven't learned anything about this pattern because it's not my favorite. Um, but you can see one side is, is beautiful, but if you get to looking, see the stitching there? I get one site that tells me don't go by that because sometimes the stitching can be sloppy. And then, you know, then the argument in the forum is, is no, the stitching's not sloppy. I just, I don't know which way to turn. So, you know. So, you guys will just have to email me. Oh, uh, it's more than questionable. I mean, the stitching is even bad. So, horrible. So, I did pull some other things tonight. I have. A Mark Jacobs collection piece that I don't carry anymore. I did get a few emails on <laughs> the Rocker Biker Bag, the Bapke. So, but yeah, um, I'm not entirely sure what the laws are, and I don't want to be shifty about selling a fake Louis on the internet. I'm not going to do that. So, I mean, we're, we'll go into it. You can email me and, you know, we can do a private sale. I just don't want to do it on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't want to be shifty like that. Even though I'm announcing to everybody, doopy doop doop. So, we have, I still have the Rebecca Minkoff. I have, back there, you guys know what that is. That's the Mew Mew, the Mew Mew. And I have, a Hampton. And I have. I forget what this is called. <laughs> the horse and carriage tote. I forget what that's called. This is this is a pretty tote. <clears throat> yeah, Don. I mean, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It'll it'll. I mean, even everything is marked. I mean, they've really. Really overdid it, but yeah, I don't think it's real. 
but it's a great leather bag. I mean, from a distance, you're not going to be able to tell. From the outside, I thought it was absolutely authentic until you look inside. And even the lining is drop-dead gorgeous. But, mm, I don't know. So, don't know. So, beautiful tote. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. I looked it up. And I already forgot. So. We still have some Patricia Nash. I have these low, what you call it, things. What's that? Low and Sons? Low and Sons. So, but you get right into it, and then we have the rogue. You guys, that rogue um, cleaned up spectacular. And if I'm able to clean up suede, then yeah. <laughs> okay, I found this bag, and you know, nobody can find it. But I found this bag. But I, it, it was similar style. It had the buckles. Um, I was able to do a whole lot better with that. That's the only real... I don't know if that's just from being folded or what have you. Um, <laughs> it was half the size. They wanted... $148 for half the size, and it was an absolute hot mess. I found it on Poshmark, believe it or not. So, but if you're interested in the Mew Mew bag, I pulled the item. I did find the code. It is vintage. It was made in Turkey by Prada. So I was able to find out that much about this one. I, I had no idea that Prada, uh, I don't know if they still make Mew Mew bags. I don't know. <laughs> but this one, this particular style was. It's got its little care instruction card here. So I found it as I opened up the zipper. And it was a little rough to do because it's real thick leather and suede. But way down in the corner, I was able to find what we were looking for. Here's your code. So some of them got some bags that you're seeing on Poshmark, what have you, have the same code, but they say A, B. They are reruns or something like that they called it something else but reruns so if you're interested um they were all over the internet um for anywhere from 325 to a thousand dollars so I, well i tell you i didn't pay no thousand dollars for this bag but if you're interested in it here, let me sh gorgeous Unlined suede in there. It is gorgeous. It is still reminds me of my mulberry. I don't. Get it. So if you're interested in the Mew Mew bag, yeah, you want me to show the inside again? Um, I'm asking four fifty for it. <laughs> it's yeah. It's very. I love it because it's, it's like my mulberry, but I'm very partial to my mulberry. So this is actually a vintage piece. So there you go. It is 450. Back to similar style in this age are upwards of 600 to a thousand dollars it's a beating bag <laughs> it's 
здесь сколько лежит. It is beautiful. It would. It would. The one that I found was the the style was very similar, but it was like I measured his measurements, half the size, and on the inside, I you know it was hard to see. It was like I didn't know if it was suede or microfiber, but it was black down on the bottom. So. I'm like, well, mm. so it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, anybody is interested, 450 will take it home. We'll get it sent to you. Yeah, this she's a big one. She's, you guys want me to measure her? I actually brought this. Usually I don't have it, because, you know, yeah, I'm always just, you know, not prepared for my own life. She is about 17 wide. Eleven tall. And her width is six. She's a big one. She's about the same size as my as my mulberry that I got from Vicky. And this one is the Vintage Coach 1941 Rogue, the RG20315. Look at her now. Look good. Beautiful. Is that some kind of thing? Anybody know what that's for? It's not for it's not for chapstick or anything, so I don't know what that would be for. <laughs> It still has the stuffing inside it. Never took it out. I'm not going to take it out. So, whoever owns this beautiful baby can take it out if they want it out. I'm not going to do that. So, take the stuffing out so I can show you guys what I have done. You know, I fight with. I do. Oh, well, it's a keychain. So, is that what goes in it? I mean... Little thing of mace. <laughs> so, those cleaned up really nice. If you guys remember, the inside of this was dirty. <laughs> it was dirty. <laughs> I love the little kiss lock thing in there. So this says number RG-20315. Designed in New York City since 1941. Or 40-something. It is so small, my eyeballs can't register it. Yeah. Yeah, it had some kind of scientific experiment going on in there. But it was superficial. So... I just grabbed my handy dandy stuff I cleaned the inside of my coaches with. Got rid of all the pen marks. Got rid of all the black grossness. The inside of this little thing is even really nice. So, the little coin pocket. So, there you go.
There is no corner wear. It's in excellent condition. The kit's lock. Yeah. This is a cool bag. But I'm not attached to it. It's not it's not my dreamer. Excellent condition, guys. Now she's all cleaned up. She don't stink. She don't have no things going on in there. Really, really nice. So, if you're interested in the 1941 Vintage Coach Rogue, she is $500. Measures? I will measure. I do believe she's a 20. Okay. Measures. All right. We're just going to go seam to seam, guys. I know it poofs out, but we're going to keep it real. So, exactly 12. The length is 11. And the depth. Is four exactly. She's I think she's a twenty-five. I'm not kind of sore on it though. <clears throat> if I had to guess, I would say a twenty-five. But she's I mean she's bigger. Cause I've seen some of the other rogues. Yeah. I've seen some of the other rogues. Um that they said they were and they were they were smaller. I mean she's not huge, but she's not, you know. Yeah. So I mean these were oh my god, the these are insanely expensive. I looked at a couple of them on eBay and Poshmark, and the the suede and all that was dirty. <laughs> um, you guys should have seen me with the, the little eraser and a little brush, and I'm just going over it and over it and over it. And now, pretty. So, so there she is. So, I'm only asking 500 I know a lot of people are asking more, are probably going to say something to me, but but so what not the bag, I'll charge what I want to charge <laughs> so she's there yeah, she's not a small one so those are the two everybody's coming out to see. So four fifty for the the moo me moo moo moo, and the road is five. And let me put the care instructions and stuff back in the moo bag because if you guys want to have all your bits and bobs and everything that comes with it, of course. So. That would be a rocking bag, too, with a really cool crossbody. Because you could probably stick crossbody in there. Why not? Yep. That's a brand new with Tags Brahmin. I never even took the stuffing out of it. I've shown that one a couple times, Tabitha. So this one retails for three sixty five. It's cool. It is a big old tub. <laughs> it's got a back pocket. This is all the stuffing that it comes with. Comes with everything. Also comes with a really cool detachable pouch.
nice bag beautiful bag it's still i didn't take like i said the packaging out of it it's still lined with the paper yep <laughs> So the brand name of tags, ramen. If anybody's interested in that, I had her. I think I asked last time. I I, I think I asked. What did I ask for that? Uh, Two forty-five for it. But um, if anybody's interested in it, I'll drop it to two hundred. It is huge. This is a monster. But authentic and brand spanking new. Never even took the stuff out of it. I didn't feel the need to do so. It's not something that I, that I actually carry. I like the colors on that. It's fun. <laughs> Let's see. I got another dreamer. I got a black one. I've got a Mark Jacobs collector's edition, the collection, but the actual uh, anniversary collection bag. I got a cool charming Charlie. You name it, I probably got it in here. In there and everywhere. <laughs> Small bags? The Marc Jacobs collection piece? And small bags. Like, how small? My version of small or your version of small? So this one is not small. This is a Marc Jacobs collection piece. And then... Let me pull some smalls. Look at my butt. <laughs> Alright, so to me, small would be the Patricia Nash. This coach. Ah, what else? New Black Dreamer. These are what I would consider small. Oh, and I have, of course, this Patricia Nash. So those are about the smaller ones. Somebody else inquired about this coach. Um... But she needs some love, this coach. <coughs> so, I'm going to fall down and kill myself walking on this pillow. And then I have some lower end ones um, that are small. Like I do have this vintage leather. Um... I consider this small too. This coach. Oh, guess what I got today, guys? <laughs> I had a separation anxiety. Everybody keeps buying up all my Smithies. <laughs> I scored one in red. <laughs> I think my pink one lasted four seconds. And then my black ones went, and then my brown ones went. And I consider this a small tote, even though it's probably a medium. I have this. And then, of course, we have the Pink Louie. But I don't think that's about it for my smalls. Any smaller than that, there'd be a wallet. <gasps> Happy birthday, Terry! Sweet. 
happy birthday. Send me your address, Terry. I'll send you a birthday gift. Yeah, I'm doing like some major shipping tomorrow. So send me your address. I'll send you a birthday gift. Something fun. That's that big old Brahmin. I'm still working on that. That's that King Kong Brahmin that I found at the thrift store. <laughs> it's like, this big man, golly. So now that I'm surrounded, I still have, I forget what it's called, but you guys all know, still have the yellow bag. Got a lot of interest, but nobody really pulled the trigger. This is the one that I carried, and I quit carrying it. Because I had it so heavy and all that, that I was worried that I was going to damage it because I I scraped it right there. Easy fix. Sheesh. Hadrian could have it probably fixed in four seconds. And I'm sure Vicky will be able to, too. I do have the paints and I do have the means. But I, I'm not going to lie. Color theory. Did you see that fly just land on my face? Color theory is not my, <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> uh, it would take me five hours to try and color match that. So, when Vicky's here, I will have her repair it. I mean, it's just a little spot, but still, we know it's there. Did you do anything fun? You went to birthday dinner. What'd you get for your birthday? Did you get a good gift? I got myself my birthday gift. And then I sold it out of necessity and then had anxiety and bought another one. <laughs> this is one of the bags that was put up for a long time and, and then I never heard anything back. Then I have a clearance little one. It's a little fossil. I like it because it gave me Mark Kate Jacob vibes. This is an old one. Yeah. For this fossil, it's old. Pretty good shape. So, this is a clearance bag. This 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 was one of the clearance fossils. So, the clearance bags I lost my head. The clearance bags are 25. Show it to you. So it's got the key. This is an old school bag. Uh, let's see. It's got some writing on it. Long live vintage. <laughs> I don't think it's a vintage bag though. But it, I mean it's old. It'll polish up nice. Little bitty thing. But it's nice leather and all, and I like the fossil leather in that. But, you know, tomorrow is, is the day um, after I get done all the shipping. Amarin's supposed to come and look at my meter because I had a stroke and told them off. So they're coming tomorrow. After that, I'm borrowing Kendall's truck, and I am going and getting the rest of my handbags. An entire room. All packed away. You can't walk in there. It's all coming home. It does. So. 
So I've got, yeah. This one? With the blemish, because I, yeah. So, this is the one I bought from Hadrian. I paid $100 for it from Hadrian. So, that's all I'm going to ask for it because I, yeah. I mean, I scraped it enough. It took the paint, but there's, it's not scratched. There's, there's no damage. It just needs color touched. Which one, sweetie? I am surrounded by coaches. I have all the... I got the Black Dreamer. I do. I actually am working on it. So, I have a whole nother room. This here is a studio that's going to get another set of shelving here. But the room across the hall will be the bag room. Sure. Will be the bag room. So, and that is what uh, Vicki and I are going to set up. We're going to finish setting up in here. And then we're going to set up the bag room. Because it's also going to have a little workstation in it. I was holding it. I I went to Home Depot and I've got I've got like shelving like my all time favorite bags and what have you are like in my in, in my quarters when I'm here are in there. I've got um in the other closets, because this place has four bedrooms. In the other closets, I have where they can hang up. Um, but these are just the single track. Um, yeah. And then the shelving and the little bits that go on. I mean, it was it was nothing. So we got eight. Well, seven and a half. And then seam to seam, nine and a half. And the depth is exactly three and a half on the yellow. Pretty bag. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be absolutely fun. She keeps itching to get to my purse room. But she needs to be careful what she asks for because... Yeah, the room <coughs> that is full that you can't even barely walk into is uh, yeah, is twice this size. So she doesn't know what she's asking for. Um, let me give you the serial number. So this one is I'll read the whole thing to you because I don't remember. And then we can, we can Google it if you want to. Zero, or it's G, as in Googling. One, three, three, nine, three, dash. Two, one, one, nine, four, W. It's got two open pockets, a zipper pocket, and it's pristine in there. So I'm not sure if it's called Rambler, but it's gorgeous. It is not a factory outlet bag. Beautiful. So I thought, ooh, yay, cool, smaller bag, and it's really pretty. So I bought it from Hadrian and 
yeah, just not big enough, and I was going to damage it, so I, I unpacked it quite quickly. So, because it's too pretty for me to be messing about with it. So she's small. Mm -mm. No, it's nice. We also have the Hampton. If you're looking for a smaller bag, it's a little bigger than the yellow one, but that, to me, that's small. I don't know. You know what, Hannah? I, it would take me 10 years. I, it would. <laughs> Color theory was never really my forte. <laughs> so. Clayton Dooney Black. That one. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, somebody's really interested in this. And I'll, you know, I'll have Vicky take care of it, and then you'll get like a brand new bag if you want. Rehab coach tan. There's lots of rehab coach. Oh. oh. This one? Elaine, I have a few of those bags. Um, in different sizes. <laughs> this one? I love the interior on this one. So this one, though, I was going to die. That's why I was hanging on the door. And then give it a good clean, because it's pretty stained. But I've got a nice concoction going. This is not a collection bag, or a collection bag. This is not a boutique. This is a boutique bag. This is the one nine one three two. So her her's a fixer upper. It looks like they had I don't know spilt soda in it. It looks like a little bit of marker, but I'm pretty sure I can get it looking brand new. Um, I'm looking at water damage here. So that, yeah, this is why this one was hanging on the door. Because it ain't pretty right now. You love it in this state? <laughs> I mean, these bags... These are collector's ones. I, I get it. Comes with a little tag. <laughs> it's got a little stick. <laughs> well, I say I'll rehab it, but we all know it's going to be Vicky. That's the only way, only thing I can think of to cover, because I, that is water damage. This one, yeah, that one's just a color match. This is going to be a total rehab. So, I'm kind of torn because I love the color. So, let's see. 
だれうまれーあや That's my Vicky <laughs> I had Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See? Things like this happen when you let me play with things. So this goes in the Mimi. Yeah. She's also an expert sewer. Did you guys know that? She is. So I'm quite excited. I tried to learn to sew. That was not something my mama could. Now my sister, she's a seamstress. She makes those bear, those collector bears. She does that. I was gonna, you know, if I can't fix one of the Louis, I was gonna have her make me one of those Louis Vuitton teddy bears. This, this is real. Yeah, she's, she's special. <laughs> so, yeah, we got, we got some ideas. We're going to do some things together. So, she is, she's, she's wonderful. I, I'm, I'm going to be able to learn a lot from her. She's been doing it a lot longer. She's even going to teach me how to maneuver around Poshmark and all that a little bit, a little bit better. Because when I, the reason I, you know, I'm kind of with Hadrian, when I list bags, man, it takes me forever. Like, half an hour in that for, you know, per bag. So I just kind of steered clear of it. You know? So I haven't been doing it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I did tell you guys about Poshmark. Wow, what they did. I, I bought a bag, of course, and then it got packed away right away. And then when I unpacked it, it was an absolute obvious fake. And I was so mad because it was a mulberry. And I paid a couple of hundred bucks for it. And I told them off in the worst possible foul way. I could have handled it better. But I, I got an apology letter. Um, I, they sent along with it a copy of their um, like their policy, you know, or the three day thing and what have you. See now I'm cold. Um, their policy thing, and I said I understood that. I wasn't looking for a refund. I was just telling them off. That I mean, you know, if you guys are allowing this, blah 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 blah. And they're like, as a courtesy, and they refunded me in full and told me to do whatever I want to with the bag. Um, I think I have the bag in here. i show it to you. Uh, you know, watch, watch it turn out to be legitimate. <laughs> but I don't think so because I know my mulberry and I ain't having that. So... <clears throat> But, you know, I, I have a bad habit. I get these things. And I get so many shipments. I'll unpack it and then, poof, pack it back up. Well, it, it was excellent today, Hannah, because, yeah, they refunded every single penny. Let me see if I can find it. I know it's in here because I have it in my hand. And I couldn't believe it. It's not in that area. It's got to be over here. So. But. I thought about showing it to you guys. But. Then I thought the better of it. Because sometimes some people. They find something that. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't what I was looking for, though. I was just 
giving them a warning. I sent them pictures and just telling them who it was. And, you know, I'll never buy from them again because they they have a lot of listings and they've been there for a long time. And I'm, I, and I got to thinking maybe they didn't realize, um, they didn't realize that it was a fake. But I don't see how you couldn't not. It took me four seconds to spot it, you know. Message retracted. Did you say something dirty, Hannah? <laughs> Did you say something bad? I gotta, I want to show you guys this bag. I want to show you guys this bag. I got too many tubs in here. I had to move it, didn't I? I moved it. Fine. I moved it. Yeah, I mean, golly. It, it was something else. I mean, the stitching that goes all the way around it. Um, it looks like The holes were huge. Like they used like a regular, I don't know what they used, but. Um, but the stitching, when it come around the bag, was like this. <laughs> stitching didn't even match together. <laughs> and there was a lining put in there. Now some of them have lining, I understand that. But this was a cheap felt. Um, so I should have looked inside the bag. There was a leather stamp in there. There was a leather tab in there. So it didn't have a disc. Um, and that's fine. Some of them didn't. I get that. But it was stamped mulberry, but the mulberry was crooked. So you got a square here and it, and it was literally crooked. They didn't allow you to return it? Why did he douse it in Febreze? I wonder what... Hmm. I mean, I'll let you guys know who the seller was, but I'll put it in the Discord. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. I thought it was a, like 460 or something like that. And I'll take pictures of that mulberry, too. Oh, yeah, I will feel bad if it was maybe some kind of weird repair job that I didn't know. If it is a repair job on the inside of that mulberry, it was a extremely horrible repair job. Yeah. Did you wash it? Did that help? That didn't help, huh? Probably hit you as soon as you open the box. When I thrifted, I thrifted this, this jumper, and I love it, but I had to wash it three times. Oh, 
with silk. <sighs> yeah, I had to wash it three times with some snuggly things. I'm sorry, Hannah. Dang. All right. So, like I said, everybody. You can't? Oh, I gotta have my tide. Well, I mean, if you had allergies like that, you got allergies like that. Hannah, I showed everybody. I know Hadrian's going to show up, but I had to do it. Such a cool bag, Hannah. Thank you. Sweet's a disaster for me. <laughs> And to clean the rogue, I mean, I have the patience of an alley cat, and I fidget. <laughs> and I mean, I was like, <laughs> HVAC guy's here. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, cleaning his bag. <laughs> there are, well, this girl, she, she was sweet enough. I just... I'll let you guys draw your own conclusions. I'll find it, and I will post some pictures in the Discord. It was it was horrible. Yeah, I do. I like it. I just gotta, you know, keep my. My bestie, Vicky, from stealing it when she gets here. Wow. I didn't even look, look at the brand. I was, I was all about, I was all about the leather. Hi. I'm one of those. If I get a great leather bag, big, thick leather, luscious stuff, I don't care what brand's on it. I love it. So. <laughs> Jigsaw! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I wish I knew where I put that mulberry because you would have a field day. Oh, Hannah, I found a, this is a different kind of brand. You probably know what it is. This, um, Dorcel, it's vintage, um, made in the USA bag. I was going to send this to you. Um, I found, I found this. And it, it, it reminds me of, you know, the vintage coach leather. It's old, but I figured you could. I don't know, paint it, decorate it, whatever, it's got the flat. I found this at, uh, in the bag rehab chat. Yeah, I looked it up, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot, I looked it up on eBay. But, you know, despite it being vintage and what have you, it's got, like, the suede here, and it's got the old school, like, linen type thing here. It's awesome leather. And inside here, though, it's online on the bottom, but the sides have, like, a, like a wipeable coating. 
pocket is lined. It's very bottoms not. But I found this at a Habitat for Humanity store. I paid a dollar for it. Vintage made in the USA genuine leather. And I thought, man, Hannah, or Hannah would like to uh, paint all over that. <laughs> so I picked it up. It is. It's not something I'm ever going to use or carry. So, if you, you know, if you've already got what you need, we'll paint all over it. Yeah, it was a dollar. Oh, this is the strap, because the strap is awesome. Yeah. So I'm doing like a mass uh, shipping tomorrow. Just make sure I have your address and I'll I'll send this out. Thought of you when I saw that. So she would love to paint all over that. And it's awesome leather too. I've got a, a lot that's unopened. Don't. Oh, somebody wanted to see a Dooney. I have that giant black one. Oh, it's not a problem. I also have another bag that I thought was really great. It's got a bunch of hang tags. I don't know what's up with the 5,000 hang tags. But they're on there. Kind of gave me some Marc Jacob vibes. The bag is superb condition, except for the strap. I thought about cutting the strap off and putting a crossbody on there, but I didn't know how y'all would feel about that because other than that, it's in just spectacular condition. I didn't know how I think it'll fly my hand. <laughs> Dooney and Burke, yeah. I have a, a Project Dooney and Burke in the in the little mobile office there. Another one that my sister brought me. And it's one of the the green all weather leather. And it's a big old messenger it's like a big old messenger one. So I got the outside cleaned up and looking pretty. The inside on the other hand. It's unlined and it's that, that green suede. <laughs> yeah, she, she says, I don't know if she's this older one. I should aim the light a little better. Really pretty inside there. So, beautiful bag. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The, the strap is cracking. The patent leather. So that would drive me insane. I don't know. But I figure I'd better leave it on there. If somebody's interested in it, I'd sell it for 30 bucks. That's nice. Absolutely nothing else wrong with it. It's beautiful. The patent leather on the rest of the bag, the front, all that's beautiful. It's just the handle. Pretty little coach bag. So yeah. So that's I, I like to call that like the the blue coach fixer wrapper. <laughs> so So I'll send that to somebody for 30. Is there anything you guys want to see? We're here. We're having a party. That's what I was going to do. I was going to put a really cool guitar strap on it. Because we know I like those. I got another shipment in today, too, of them. 
and a whole bunch of uh, purse charms, some really cool ones. But they're they're all the same. I have like 14 of them the same. They're big black poofy balls with cats. Um, but these ones are different. These ones, um, yeah, you'll see. They're not Timu ones. These are nice ones. So pretty good size though. I mean, it's not. I think it would be an awesome crossbody. Got a pretty busy pattern. I would have to think that. Show the bags around me. There's about 150. I will show you. The blue fixer upper is 30. And it's got three hang tags on it. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Some of the charms that I have that I give away are from Timu. And the ones that I'm that I say, you know, that I give away with the bags and that, I always tell everybody they're Timu. The the ones that I have to give away are from Timu and I tell them that. And then I find, I was on, of course, I was up at 5 o'clock this morning and I did a bad thing again. I was on Poshmark Lives, watching these lives, and this girl was selling a bunch of Timu charms, kind of like what I put on y'all's purses, but this one was a, a lipstick, and she was selling them for 10 bucks a piece, and I know you can get them for 69 cents. I mean, I get it. Oh, I haven't seen Marisol. I've not seen Marisol at all. So we'll do the... I already showed you. But we'll do the, the clearance fossil. The old one. Clearance fossil. It's 25. <laughs> Somebody... My sister told me to, to not use Timu because they sell your information. And then got caught doing it. So I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. So. Here's a, the buck here somebody was interested in. Yeah. Yeah. This girl was selling lipstick charms for 10 bucks. You know, it, it didn't go over well when I says, why are you selling Timu stuff on here? I mean, it's, you got a Poshmark Live going, why are you selling Timu? But then again, it wasn't the girl. I guess they're doing the hosting and people can come in and peddle their wares on their, on theirs. This is a cool bag. This is a bot care. Bot care. Big, thick leather. Thick that leather is. This is a heavy bag, guys. Not gonna lie. It's heavy. It's got a magnetic snap closure. Let me pull it. Dust bunnies are free. <laughs> the slip pockets are in leather. So this is a really substantial bag. I would, if you're interested in this, I would put a crossbody strap on it because it's heavy on its own and there isn't even anything in it. The Mew Mew is four fifty, and no, it is not heavy. It can be. It's not as heavy as the Mulberry, but it's not. 
as light as, um, say, Rebecca Minkoff. It's kind of in the middle of the road. You're feeling your weight from the, the hardware, because the hardware is brass. So, she is 450. She is vintage. She is beautiful. So I like to call it like, like to call the bag I just showed that. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it, it's a gray. And it's got like a brown undertone. It, it's neat. Like a really light gunmetal, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, she's pretty. I'm going to drop her on my face. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. So if you load it up and what have you, it could be pretty heavy. But it's not It's not anywhere near as heavy as my mulberry, though. So, like I said, I found one. It was a lot smaller and it was in not great condition. Um... I've never carried this. So, beautiful condition. Yeah, it's like a grayish brown. So the black here biker bag that I lost our answer from my face. Beautiful condition. So if anybody's interested in the back of your bag, it is heavy. 55. This bad boy will last forever. <laughs> Cool, cool bag. Excellent condition. I don't know if I told you. The carriage tote. This is new. It's got a zip opener. Comes with a dust bag. Go. Have it inside out. There it is. I see inside there. There we go. It's got a zipper packet, two open packets, and this is six nine. Six. 6.45 and this is not a factor out of it. Sure, absolutely sweetie, absolutely. So if you're interested in the horse and carriage tote, I found them on eBay, the exact same ones. They wanted $148 for it. I will undercut them for $120 if you're interested. Mine is neat. Sure, honey. Here. Well, I'm not attached to it. <laughs> so, we all know, with the coaches, I, I'm dreamers. I'm the dreamer mama. I'm dreamers, 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 dreamers. I like the dreamers. 
And then I move into the Mark collection, Mark Jacobs collection pieces. So these were, if you guys remember the other night, <laughs> they are now gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the inside was like black and disgusting. She's all cleaned up. There's not a small one. Got some weight on her. There's not a small one. Yeah, it's in beautiful condition. It, it just cleaned up so nice. The, the crap that was all over the suede was superficial. I was able to use the soft suede brush and, you know. I would put a little pressure on the stain and then I'd wipe it off and I meticulously did that for hours for that. And then I used a little bit of the chemical I like to use for the inside of my bags. I have scientific experiments and it cleaned up beautifully. Nice vintage rogue. <laughs> you have the small one? You need a bigger one? This is a big one. And it's got its little hang tags. There you go. We don't even... There's no corner wear that I can see. I like big bags and I cannot lie. <clears throat> we got a bunch of new stuff. I bought on Amazon some of these little handy dandy things. I haven't quite figured out the trick yet because I fight with them. Kind of like my donut on a stick light. I fight with that too. I fight with all, any and all technology is a fight. See? <laughs> Figure it out. Okay. <laughs> It is in an impeccable condition. I still have the Rebecca Minkoff and like the snake print. Beautiful condition. I showed her. She's got the whip stitch detail. Cool satchel. Yeah, I like donuts. I like a donuts. So I showed her the other night for 65. Let me put this pen down. Oh my god. For 65. I'll put her on sale tonight for 60. If anybody's interested in her. Donuts. I want a donut now. I don't have any. I had I, I got some of those. What do you call those pastries that are filled? I I don't know, some kind of French things. And I ate one and then the rest of them went bad because I left them on the counter and forgot about them. <laughs> so the Rebecca Minkoff snake print is on sale for 60 tonight. Oh, I was going to show you guys the other night. I told you I scored a vintage Betsy Johnson. Did I show you guys this? In great condition. A couple, the ones, a couple of them that I have are not in such great condition. This one is in good condition. It's really cool. I like the old school ones. I fight with the strap, though. I'm fighting with the strap. There we go. Yeah, right there it is. 
Neat. <laughs> she is in great condition. Genuine leather. Cool bag. Yeah. Two functioning pockets in the front there. Pretty neat. Pretty nice. It's got an old school phone pocket. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Like it. I'm easily amused. But I like it. It's a genuine leather. This has got some weight to it too. All the hardware. Pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. I love my bags. Some of them. I got some that I don't care for. These are fun. I also have... I still have... The brand new Long Tom Tote. This is cool. This bag was made, it says here. You see it? There it is. On the back side. I'm having a hard time here. Anyway. It says made in France. This top, this is leather, it's canvas, it's canvas and leather. And it's a big one. Yeah, this one is canvas and leather. The print is leather, bottom is leather, the sides are leather, and the handles are leather. Beautiful top. I only found one other one, and I found it on eBay, and they wanted like three hundred and some dollars for it. Yeah. No, nope. if you're interested in the tote, I had it. I put it up. What was it? One fifty the other night. So if you're interested in it, I will let it go for one thirty-five. Brand new with tags. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a big O. Big O. Comes with a crossbody strap. Mark Jacobs collection bag. That I. <gasps> what? What? Okay. That was just me making noise. Okay. Go lay down. That I don't carry anymore. This is a big end. So you got your two front pockets. Functioning beautifully. I do this one handed. There you go. Big old zipper pocket. Nice and clean. That's nice and clean. I love the linen interior on this one. The handles are adjustable. The crossbody is adjustable, and I do believe it is, yep, yeah, and it's removable. So 
So the inside has two open pockets. There you go. Beautiful bag. Ooh, it's got another open pocket. There's all kinds of pockets in the front of this bad boy. Beautifully clean inside. There you go. So if you're interested in the Marc Jacobs collection bag, made in Italy. She is, he is 90 bucks. Beautiful bag. Let me put some more of the stuffing in. I'm going to start to get stuffing up to my nose. Come here again. Hi. <laughs> did the chat frozen or everybody go sleepy time? Do you guys want me to let y'all go to sleep? Look at all the stuffing this bad boy tastes. Good grief. I didn't pull any wallets because I don't think I have any more that you guys haven't seen. So I didn't pull any wallets tonight. I mean, between all of us, I kind of got a tinkle. I could grab some. I could show you what I've got. But I do have to go potty. I have to pee. Let me move some of these bags or I'm going to hurt myself. I will grab them. I want to take me a sec. Honey. Maybe be right back. I will grab them. We found a few. Um, yeah, my wallets are pretty much wiped out in that last sale that we had with all the wallets. Nah. We like having you. So I have this vintage. I'm not sure who the maker is. Genuine leather. It's an old school. I thought it was a Corette. 
but I'm not so sure. But this is an old school wallet. Beautiful burgundy color. Stamp genuine leather on the back. Nice and clean. So if you're looking for an old school leather wallet, it's beautiful leather. Ten bucks. I still have the Antonio Milani. Yeah, you guys wipe me out <laughs> of my wallets. But I don't generally look for them. If you guys, that's something you guys are interested in, I'll start keeping a better eye. So if you like Antonio Milani, he's 15. And I have another one here. This is one of those, this is, T, uh, this is a T and EO. Beautiful on the inside. Um, this one has six, 12 slip pockets. Uh, I've never carried it. It's got a place for your bills. And it has another pocket here. So this is that TNEO. I'm not real familiar with the TNEO brand. They don't generally pick it up. But that's 10 bucks if you want that one. Let's see. I have, it's not necessarily a wallet, but I do have a brand new coach card case. Pretty pink. Got all its stuff in there. I have lots of beautiful bags. Which one, Gail? <laughs> it's also got a yeah, little thing for your keys. Place for, let's see, your driver's license and two cards. And it just has everything in there. Price tag still in there. $88 for this little thing. Yeah. So. So if you're interested in it, it's still even got its little, little coachy thing. So if you're interested in this, it's 40 bucks. I'm not going to call it Barbie pink because, I don't know, between you guys, I'm probably going to get slammed for this, but I just do not want to jump on the Barbie bandwagon. I don't want to. So. A pink bag. So, a little pink, well, it's not a bag. You know, these little thingamajigamajigs. So, what else? I have, I still have the old school fossil. The buckle detail. <laughs> I know, right? I heard that all day. I mean, starting off, I was up way too early on the Poshmark thing, and Barbie pink this, Barbie pink that, Barbie pink. Oh my God, yeah. I never was either. I, I mm. it was just plain old pink before. The Barbie movie, and I haven't met anybody um, personally that have that have seen it that cared for it. So they thought it was kind of cheesy. So this has quite a few card slots, place for bills and other bits and bobs. This has more card slots, so there's about ten card slots. So this is old school fossil too. This is an old one, but the leather is really thick. And wonderful. Barbie would carry this. <laughs> so, if you're interested in old school uh, fossil, that's 15. She's 15. I did find these guys. I thought, you know, I thought I sold them a long time ago. Apparently, I did not. I have two of the Patricia Nash pouches. Brand new with tags still. 
These retail for $79. Any smaller bags, not too heavy. I've got the Patricia Nash tooled. That is very light. That's a very light bag. I have Well, that one's smaller, but it, that's got some weight on it. Let's see. I do have this Patricia Nash is very light. And I forget what this one is called again. But this coach is very light. This is what's well, small to me. I don't know if it'd be small to you. Let's see. I still have, uh, this is old. This was a big hit last time, but somebody called it, and then I haven't received payment or anything for it. The old school 80s coach. Matches that wallet I just moved out of. I bought a Fendi wallet from one of our Discord group members. I bought that Fendi wallet. So I moved out of that that uh, wallet. So yeah. I still have that. You name it, I've got it. Um, have you? Has anybody ever heard of Kath Kidston, London? This was in one of the totes I hadn't seen for years. Why I held on to it, I don't know. Um, I haven't had a chance to do any research on it. But original Kath Kidston, London. I'm not sure. Little tote style. Special is especially made for Kath Kidston. No, I haven't either. That'll be a fun one. We'll have to research that. It's like a coated canvas. I'm wondering if it's vintage. Yeah. It's got birds on it. But it's it's got a very vintage vibe. I I remember when my grandmother passed, she left some bags behind. I'm wondering if this was one of them. I bet you it's vintage. Now it, I think it's a coated canvas. Yeah, that's a coated canvas. So that one's a coated canvas. And then I have this one. I showed this one earlier. This one's in beautiful condition, except for the the strap. I have to cut that puppy. Oh, this one we're gonna fix up and then show you guys. So I have got all kinds. I have the pouches. These. This one's tooled. Isn't that pretty? And this one is just kind of plain. And I pulled the wrong wallet. This one's not for sale. <laughs> That's my favorite combo I got from Miss Dawn. I love it. I love it. I love it. I wasn't supposed to pull that. It was in there with the other, in there with the <laughs> other wallets. I'm not, I'm not selling that one. Let's see. And this one is really light. This. I have this one. This one and the pouches. Because we're looking for smaller bags.
This one retailed for I don't remember. <laughs> but if you're interested in this bag, brand spanking new. I'll do this one. Silica's for free. I think when I showed it last time, I think I showed it for, I think it was $125. I will let it go tonight for $95. And this wallet. These retail for $79. I'm only asking $45. We got the pretty tooled one. They're not exactly wallets, but, you know. Oh, we got the string stuck in there. There we go. It has two brushy pockets and a zipper pocket like a purse. <laughs> and it should have... Yep, they're down in there. Your authentication cards are in the zipper pockets. You would like both of them? Absolutely. Okay. Bring in Spinky New. Okay. Just go ahead and send me an email, Laura, with your details on it. So, because everything's going to get shipped out tomorrow. I got everything all bagged up and ready to go from the last sale. But, you know, I had to fight with my HVAC today. So, waiting on tradies. I missed the my window to go to the postie. This one is $125. But I'll let it go for 95 tonight. So these are 45 each. So it'll be 90 for both of them. Miss Laura. And the tool purse is 95. Beautiful burgundy color. It's awesome. Yes, ma'am. You can even put it in the notes to Patricia Nash pouches. Or if you're not comfortable with that, dear, um, you can send me an email with your details and I'll invoice you. However, you feel more comfortable. You can when you send it over. There is an option to send it goods and services and when you send it goods and services you get all the rights like you would if I if I invoiced you yeah so all that is in the description box all that information ninety five Sandra Beautiful, beautiful. I still have the big old tooled tote, too. That's one of the ones that was called for and I didn't get payment for. So that's still here. If you guys want to see that, that's a big old tote. Absolutely. What else do we got? I have got so much stuff. It's ridiculous. I still have the clearance Dooney and Burke tote. And I'm pushing out for $30 because of the pen marks in the bottom. And there's um, a couple, I think, I don't know if it's permanent marker 
or what, but there are some markers down, marks in the bottom of the bag. Outside is pristine. It's the bottom of the bag. There's some marks there. I cannot get out at all. I can't get it out. I have tried everything. My hands were pink for a week. And I could not get it to come out. I still have the brand new Madewell Tote. In a nice chocolate burgundy color. So that is still available. So I'll list everything down in the description box. This is the one I love because you can fold it over and wear it different ways. Strap is removable and adjustable. Because this one, this one doesn't sell. I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> is all of my totes like this especially my Madewells all sold that had all the, that had the zipper all I have left is my Kuyana but I don't have a fold over one I have you want to see a cool bag this is a hobo if you sent me this get this baby out Yeah, that neat? That's a Hobo International. That is cool bag. Still have the vintage. Rebecca Minkoff, the old school girl. She is still here. Brass hardware, pretty substantial. Ooh, we've been out here for two hours. Woo! What else? Hey guys, I only showed you guys this one time before. I've got the like a moon shaped. You guys are gonna be surprised to find out who makes this. This is a cool bag. Beautiful thick leather. Awesome, awesome bag. Brand new condition. I couldn't believe my luck when I found this one. And it doesn't look like anybody's ever really carried it. It's not seen anywhere. But this too is a Hobo International. But this leather, yeah, it's it's big, thick, pebbled leather, substantial brass hardware. It's not like the other hobos that are real. The leather is, is great on it, but it's the thin, you know, the, the glove tan. Yeah, this is the one Vicky sent me. So the leather is different. This is very coke style leather. This is a cool bag. And this is a Hobo International. Very thick. And it has a zipper pocket. It says Hobo International. And it's got some other stuff. Oh, made of the finest quality. Top grain leather. And it has the open pockets are also in leather. So this one is unique. I've not ever come across a hobo international that looks like this. So that is a really cool bag. Ha ha. So if you're interested in this hobo, I'll let it go for 75. It is. I'm assuming it is. I had the date pulled up on it. I think it's just on vintage. I think it's like right there on the border. It's 
fly trying to get my drink. You see the size of that fly? He just won't go away and he's like giant monster size. <laughs> so if you're interested in the, the vintage hobo, moon like a moony shape. It does. That's 75. The Patricia Nash. I moved it. I didn't put it away. Once again, I've destroyed this room, you guys. I clean it up, and then we destroy it. I clean it up, and then we destroy it. That's how it works. There you go, Gail. It is a beautiful burgundy bag. That is true to color. Really cool. I like the front clasp. Beautiful. Your authentication card and everything is in the zipper. In the zipper. Zipper, zipper, zipper. I'm getting slap at it. Woo. Look at my hair. I washed it, so it's just... I thought about bleach bathing it, you guys, but I watched too many YouTube videos, and I don't want to look like those guys. Now, Gail, I do have another Patricia Nash tool tote, the bigger tote. It's got a zipper top. What else do we have? Oh, let's see. Little bags. Hold on a second. I think I found some little ones. Get some babies in here. Oh, that's not real. Oh, yeah, I guess. Hold on. It's just stuck up a lot. I have the baby Dooney. There's a little baby. That can be conditioned off, I'm fairly certain. Beautiful condition. <laughs> and the inside of this is groovy. It's got an old school pocket there that no cell phone now would fit in. <laughs> cute though. It's got a zipper pocket. Little mini tote. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so if you're interested in the baby Dooney, the little mini tote, I'll let it go for 50 bucks. I forgot I had this. So there's a small one. And I have this small I have this small Kate Spade, the pink one still. It had like a... And I think I remember saying I'll try to get that off and then I just forgot. And I didn't. Because I'm a horrible person. Because I said I would. I remember saying that now. It's like if they had like... I don't know if it was pink marker or what. There's little pink dots in there. So here's a little bag. I don't think I say these things and then I find these things. I just I think I just found them in the wallet too. I did. So this wallet. Alligator print. And this is a Furla. Beautiful in there. It's got a thousand card slots. Let's see. Eight. Ten, eleven, twelve. Sixteen card slots. Place for your, your bills on either side. It's cool inside there. Zipper pocket. So there you go. So if you're interested in this furla, I'm going to send it out for 25 Reason being, looks like it's got a little wear right there. 
it might condition out. But this print between us guys is not my, you know, not my favorite. <gasps> yeah. Would fit in there, wouldn't it? Yeah. You fit a nice can of pepper spray in there. Ah, good idea. This is a cool little toy. There's a little baby. The baby Dooney. This is about the size of my wallet. <laughs> and you want some things? Nothing else would fit in there for me. Baby Dooney. All right. I keep taking everything out of these totes. What do we got here? What else do I got? Oh. Oh, I remember I carried this for a while. It's a big old buck here. That's cool. Yeah, I carried this one for a while. I think I bought this from somebody in the Discord. When I first joined Discord. So I got a big old back here. Oh, the tassels. I'll have to stuff her up and get her gorgeous and show her again to you guys. Beautiful. I'm going to go get me some pepper spray. I got a, I got a couple bags. I have those old school. And I'm like, what am I going to put in there? Chapstick falls out because it's a little too big for that. Yeah, I never thought of getting a little can of pepper spray and popping that in there. So what else is in the stove? Toiletry bag. Oh, do you guys remember this one? I got to take it to Coach because I don't know how I can repair it without... Hurting it even more. Oh man, hold on. I got it all tangled up. There we go. It's a cool bag. But it's missing a. It's missing a. Here it is. It's missing a grommet. Right there. And I couldn't figure out how to fix it without taking out the liner. Because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous coach. You're welcome. I think I might have missed something. Look at the inside of this. Beautiful bag. Love the hang tag. What's going on, Gail? I think I missed something. You're welcome. So, I love, love, love this bag. And it is C1420-32401. Whatever it is, Gail, you're welcome. You're always welcome, girlfriend. You choose the pen for her.
I should have. Anybody want to see the Patricia Nash? Huh? Speaking of Patricia Nash, you guys remember me telling you about that girl on uh, uh, eBay who bought the other big Patricia Nash tote, brand new. Um, I haven't heard back from her. Knock on wood. I love this bag. I just don't know how I can fix a grommet without taking out the liner. And the liner is spectacular and I don't want to do it. You know, I love this bag. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, she's quite welcome. I haven't, I haven't seen this liner in any other bag either. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> it's okay. We used to have a coach um, in a couple of towns over, but after the pandemic, they they moved. I don't have a coach place, a coach store near me to take this bag, and I'm afraid to just send it in. You know, take 25 years and you might not get where it's going or whatever. I'm all paranoid. So. so, yeah, her's missing a grommet. Sacrilege. All right, let's see. What else? What other goodies I got? That's what we got. Ah, my legs are wobbly. See, I think you've seen all those. What else do I got? Let me go this way. I got a couple of doonies. I got a lot of doonies. Oh. Here's the other Patricia Nash, ladies. That's the tooled one. And then I have, let me put that down here. Let's see. And then I have the big old Patricia Nash bucket bag with the embroidery or the leather stitching. I also have the Philip Lim, the green one. That's over here. We hit food. Oh. It's hot here again. Man, I'll tell you what. Menopause sucks. Anyway, hi, Joanny. How are you? But we have the Dreamer in Black. And I think everything else you guys have seen. You don't like bucket bags? Well, you know. You like what you like. You, you know, you don't like what you don't like. Oh, yeah. Is 
this the right one? The other one, I had one in a different color and it and it sold. I think it is so cute that you guys think that I know what the names of the bags are, the coaches. <laughs> I got so cute. Probably just showed you the wrong bag. Because I'm a rookie. And it's my first day. <laughs> Ooh, Tabitha, you retracted your message. Did you say something juicy? Did you swear? <laughs> Minute flash, I tell you what. Oh, oh yeah, you guys remember I got this that came in this week, that Oriani in the Chevron pattern. Bag. Oh, personal summers. Mm. I used to have to take black cohosh, which I'm going to have to start taking again because my insurance company decided they weren't going to pay for my medications anymore unless I wanted to do $500 copays every month. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'll have to start back up on the black cohosh black cohosh bandwagon. Cause, uh, Cause the things are about to get real. It does. You gotta give it time to I, I like it because it's a herbal remedy that works. It did work quite well. You got to give it time to build in your system, especially with it being um, an herb. They don't, <clears throat> they give up on it before it has time to work. <laughs> I thought the black cohash, it worked so well for me, but it, it took a good six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you guys see that guy earlier? Tried to be all creepy and telling me to look behind me and stuff. Seriously, man. Like I can't see behind me. Tried to be all creepy. I am feeling a little better. I'm still a little stuffed up. But that's probably because I spent the day cleaning out vents and air returns and things like that. Yeah, well, <clears throat> the insurance company that I had before, Aetna, covered it. So, and that was all fine. And then Kendall decided, well, he said Blue Cross Blue Shield would be better. And it's not. It's not covering anything. It's denied it all across the board. Oh, uh, well, forever. 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 Well, I'm 50-something now. Um, <laughs> I started... The hot flashes started for me when I was about 41. So, for me, it's been about... Well, just under 10 years. But, you know... If I don't do anything about it... Yeah... I, you know, 
they get pretty intense. Don't feel sad for yourself. It's, it's perfectly normal. I mean, I've found ways around it. I take I take the black cohosh. I don't really mess around with anything else. That is the only herb um, that I would take. But it has to be organic and it has to be pure. Um, because with my other medications, I don't know how it would react. So I take that and I sleep. Um, I have a fan, a floor fan. That's really kind of more for white noise, but to circulate down below. And then I have, I don't hear, but I used to have a ceiling fan I would leave on above me. And I would, I'd rather be a little cold and have to cover up in a sheet. And it helped control them. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, and I'm sure Han and my degree, I wouldn't walk into your local Walmart and just buy, you know, the $2 black cohosh off the shelf. Uh, it's full of fillers and God knows what else. I tried, um, we tried something like that. Um, but do you have to have an income threshold for that? And I make too much money, uh, for them to entertain that idea. I can, I could try it again. I tried that with the Trikendi, but then they took that off the market because I used to take Trikendi. Um, and they wouldn't hear of it. I, now, I think with the Manjaro, Lily makes that, I do believe. I think that's Lily. I haven't tried Lily. Really? Well, that's early. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he gave me a couple of samples before, but yeah, <laughs> we went down this road about. 15 times with um, my insurance company and now we're just starting over with another insurance company. It, it was funny because Kendall actually stood there and he apologized to me. I said, it's not covering my meds again. I got all the denial letters again. Here we go. He's like <clears throat> really mad because when he spoke, he actually spoke to Blue Cross Blue Shield and told them what I was taking and, and why and all that and they told it wouldn't be a problem, so he did. He switched the insurance companies, and now they're just denying it everywhere. So he's he's not happy. Well, you know, I have to walk a little bit more. I have other medications. They just didn't didn't work so well. It was a little harder to control my uh, hypoglycemia with those. Yeah, they are. And I think that's why I don't mm, I'm not either. And yeah, I've been a little emotional. It happens, man. We all going through it. <laughs> it sucks.
Yep. I wish I could find a good one that'll work that isn't on back order and isn't, you know, rejected by every single... Yeah, they're, they, won't, they won't cover it at all. They said that it's for the type of diabetes that I have, because I take it for, um, I took it for obesity, you know, to, to keep my, help keep my weight down because of my heart. And they say it's for a certain type of diabetes and I don't have that type, so they won't cover it at all. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he switched to Blue Cross Blue Shield. So, yeah, he's, he's regretting it now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the letter said. <laughs> yeah. But see, now, Aetna, when I had Aetna, because Kendall works for, um, he's got a government job, you know, he, he, um, it covered it. I paid a $25 copay every month. Yeah, but yeah, but isn't that on a global shortage too? No. I don't have that. Yeah. Hi. I I don't how would you pronounce that? Fur furs furs? How are you? Hmm. I'll have to talk to him. I left a, a message for the for the nurse and the doctor to call me back today. Try to figure something else out. We're fine. We're all fine. I never heard of Wagovi. I was on Trikendi for a long time too. I'm from planet Earth. Good night, Terry. I'm getting ready to go to. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> 
Sorry, I don't know. It was at first, first. I don't know. Yeah, we've been off for two and a half hours. We're all getting ready to say goodnight. I'll get that formulary uh, list from Kendall. Uh, and then you can just kind of point out the good ones for me to ask my doctor about. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't know the names of them all. Oh, yeah. I have a Caremark card because of Blue Cross Blue Shield, but I do not use CVS. They don't really like the, the big box stores too much. <coughs> oh, okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah. <coughs> 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 well, that makes sense. Yeah, I just, I like, I like the little mom and pop one I've been going to, you know, the service is a whole lot better. All right, everybody. When this this video uploads, it uploads it privately for some reason. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're in the United States. Welcome from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm sure they don't. Well, I used to use CVS. And I would have my, my medication on auto refill. They would either, one, not fill it. And then they wouldn't notify me when it was done. Or two, I would have medication everywhere. They would just keep refilling it and sending it and sending it and sending it and sending it. So, I'm not. So, I don't have any reason to come to Sri Lanka, so I won't be going there. So, yeah, CVS. I mean, they're nice and all. Wonderful people work there. It's just, yeah, it's just big box. It, it happens. It'd be like, you know, the smaller town ones, you just know everybody. Yeah, Walgreens is worse. That I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any problem with CVS. It's just, it's a big box thing. I don't know what a nomper is. But all right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and get this video uploaded and go night-night. <laughs> don't give out your phone nopper. Oh, no. Oh, do you work for... Do you work for CVS? Yeah. I can see him. Good night, Tabitha. Thanks for staying up so late on a Monday night. 
<laughs> yep, absolutely, Liz. Well, I mean, if you do, I mean, it's still a big box thing. I just prefer... <clears throat> I've known the pharmacist forever. You know, we just, it's... You know, chit-chatty, small-town feel. Ah. Uh -huh. Well... <clears throat> we just used Walgreens when I was in the city, and yeah. My my major complaint with Walgreens was this, man, they would tell you, you know, we'll have this done in 20 minutes. So I would come back in 20 minutes, and I'd sit there for another hour and a half. Uh-oh. Really? Is that because Amazon's doing pharma now, too? Oh. You have that. You know, I wish my corporation would cut my hours a little bit. That would be great. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Well. <clears throat> all right, everybody. I'm tired. So I'll get all this uploaded and what have you. Fees and audits. Oh, yeah. Now, make sure, Hannah. Um, I have, I think I have it. I want to send you that bag tomorrow. All right. Great, everybody. Talk to you all tomorrow. Night. Don't give don't give that guy your your nemo. <laughs> All right. Bye. Stay crazy. <laughs>